Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Siraj Ali, a recent UIUC graduate from the White Group. My colleagues and I are excited to share with you all today some of our recent work that's appearing in the journal Science on April 15th. It's all about a fast, convenient new way to make tertiary amines. Why should we care? Well, tertiary amines are found in some of the world's most powerful human medicines that you can find in your local pharmacy. Many of these require prescriptions, such as the tetracycline antibiotic. However, some of these can be found over the counter, such as the allergy medication Zyrtec. I'll now hand it over to my colleague, Sam Brenna, who will explain how we developed this method to make tertiary amines. Hi, my name is Devin Fontaine. And my name is Brenna Baditis, and we are graduate students in Christina White's group here at UIUC. Imagine if you could take the five most common secondary amines, for instance, pyrrolidine, piperazine, piperidine, dimethylamine, or morpholine, as well as abundant hydrocarbons like terminal olefins, even ones including functional groups that are usually reactive with basic secondary amines, including alkyl chlorides, tosylates, epoxides, aldehydes, as well as ketones. And now imagine you couple these abundant secondary amines as well as these abundant olefins together to form valuable tertiary amine products. So what makes all of this possible is this remarkable catalyst discovered a couple of years ago in our group that we call palladium socks or moss socks. So this catalyst is remarkable for its ability to interact selectively with what's typically considered pretty inert bonds, allylic CH bonds, and be able to replace them with other atoms like nitrogen. When we replace a CH bond with nitrogen, that process is called CH amination. So this catalyst, like all catalysts, is able to accelerate the rate of the CH amination reaction, but it's able to do it without itself being consumed in the reaction. So you can use very small amounts of this catalyst. And this is going to be really important for the solution, ultimately, uh, to this challenging kind of reaction. So what were the big challenges we faced in developing this reaction? Well, the big challenge is that even though this catalyst prefers to interact with the pi system and the allylic CH bond rather than the reactive electrophilic functionality that Brenna just told you about. It also very much prefers to interact with the basic nitrogen of amines. In fact, so much so that it doesn't, it's not able to come and interact with the allylic CH bond to do the key cleavage step. So I'm going to hand it over to Brenna, and she's going to tell you how we solved this really challenging problem. So part of the solution for this was to instead introduce these basic secondary amines as salts. And in this situation, we actually use BF3 amine salts, as showcased here. And what's really remarkable about amine salts is that now they aren't able to interact with the palladium catalyst. And while these amine salts can't directly couple with the olefins, what we found was that the catalyst is actually able to slowly release these amine salts to generate small amounts of the free amine, which can now coexist in the presence of the palladium catalyst, as well as do the productive reactivity with the terminal olefins. Using this reaction, we were able to make 12 commercial and experimental drugs, for instance, Buspar and Axiolytic, or this experimental anti-obesity drug, as well as Abilify and CMAP. In addition to this, we were able to derivatize 11 different drugs, for instance, the derivative of Paxil, Prozac, or Plavix. Our palladium SOX allylic CH amination reaction is run under air, it's run under moisture, it's run under a very general set of conditions, which means that you can use a range of different terminal olefins, a range of secondary amines. My team using this reaction was able to make 81 distinct, medicinally interesting tertiary amine compounds. I'd say this sets up really well for assembly line production of amines. 
Welcome to Amin Way. Here are our Amin options. Here are our Olefin options. What would you like to order today? Hmm. I think I'll take an Amin 1 and an Olefin 7, please. All right. We got Amin 1. Olefin 7. The Palladium Moss Ox Catalyst. Very important. And then our solvent. All right, let's heat it up. Here's your tertiary meme. Thanks, Amination Nation.